Hi guys and welcome back to the unlockable item, the little mini series where we just unlock everything which EA throw at us today. They are thrown another team of the season player, a free one as well, so, so um, can't remember the guy's name, two seconds. Sansone, team of the season Sansone, he's a left winger, 82 rated, uh, obviously in the Serie A. This tournament runs for three days as well and if you guys can try and hit over 5,000 likes on Sunday, I'll upload a video for you guys to build a cheap team and go ham with that and win it as well. So make sure you hit that like rating guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out g2a.com their link is down below so because of the sweaty tournaments guys they have gone with a 4-3-2-1 formation yet again a lot of special cards in this video as you guys will be used to anyway and then we go and do a cheap one with no informs on my own in the goalkeeper position and we will set up the parameters. They've done it a little bit different to how I thought they would, actually. Uh, we went and bought back Hans, um, sorry, Handanovic because of the fact he hasn't got a team in a season card and just jumped straight into the team there. 86-rated goalkeeper. Centre-back position on the left-hand side, we do go with Chiellini, who also never got a team this season. And the first, second uh, and final player is uh, in for Manlas as well. Could have gone with Benucci, but... I've always I liked uh, Man last because he's got 82 pace as centre back. No one's going to complain about that, are they? So with a right back as well, we also have another player which was not not really. I would say not including Team of Season. It is Team of Season Florenzi. Um, obviously a part of the Hullet Club anyway with them stats, um, but not a blue card. A lot of people are waiting for it. I know Nep was, I know Matt was, and unfortunately um, didn't happen. In the left back position, guys, we do go over Alexandro as well from Juventus. Um, just your bog standard left back. We could have put in form Gulan, but um, I don't mind having Alexandro as a very solid player and does have an 88 rated team of season as well. So the three centre midfielders, guys, this is probably where most of the cost does come from. Centre midfield position on the position on the left hand side is team of the year Pogba. His team of seasons are 92 rated, so we've gone with the team of the year version on the left. In the middle, we have gone with team of season Marquisio, um, also in the team of season this week and a re-release as well and then on the right hand side we have gone with the inform Freddy Guarin which um, is pretty I'm going to say pretty expensive we we managed to pack him and he's going for 50, 45k that's pretty cheap actually uh, considering he's got no cards on the game anymore which is uh, pretty insane so that's the three solid midfielders bought few uh, attackers um, well very good at attacking and very good at defending as well all these three centre midfielders have good defensive and attacking stats now in the left forward and right forward right forward we're going to play a close to my heart as I do overuse him a lot it is the inform Quadrado um, jump straight on into the team and then the left forward position guys we do go with the inform Mertens who was ridiculously cheap cheap um a few weeks ago when he's released we paid 43k for him and he's probably a bit less than that now he's jumped up a tad bit on it so not that much far behind um but that is the two rapid 90 pace and obviously 94 pace on quadrado as the two wingers which i do like to do in this formation and in the striker position guys we do finish off with a recent man of the match from this week and it is man of the match Morata, 85 pace 84 shooting 84 dribbling and uh, 75 physical also a clinical finisher in the five games we play because i did actually lose the first game guys and uh, when i did it he did it again and did it first time um medium low work rates probably won't reuse them in the cheap team um as he isn't cheap anyway, but even his normal card. But a uh, solid player. Did all right in the five games. Four goals and did win us the player as well. So, guys, that is a rundown of the team of how I unlock the tournament. Let's go and get into the tournament progress and show you um, exactly what went on in the four games. So here we are guys, game one of the tournament run and we come against obviously a Serie A team because it's a Serie A tournament with informed backer. Very dry team, like non no informed, there's nothing special about it and they're actually the teams which scare me the most in these tournaments, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Murata gets on the score sheet there making it 1-0 after a couple of minutes and then Quadrado, a nice bit of skill here, somehow breaks it through and smashes it in. 2-0 in the sixth minute and uh, it was looking like it was going to be an easy game. Every time we went forward we were getting goals and Marquisio does get on the score sheet here with a nice bit of dribbling and a smash near post makes it 3-0 and uh, induce the rage quit of our opponent send us into the quarterfinals pretty easily our quarterfinal opponent very similar Candreva, Insigne, um, Higuain, Nangolan, Mertens and Kevin Prince Boateng as well solid defence as well in Miranda, uh, Jesus, Jesus um, Sandro Abate and a good goalkeeper as well Quadrado with the skills outside the area squares the ball over to Guarin um, well he finds his way to Guarin Guarin with a cross to the back post Simple header. Paul Popper makes it 1 0 in the 45th minute. A bit of 50, 45th minute aids, but um, I'm not complaining about aids in these tournaments. Mertens breaking on through with the pace as well. He is a very, very good player. Crosses the ball over, fails, but the ball bounces out to Pogba, who is going to sell some skill, gets the penalty, and uh, then obviously we're able to extend the lead with a nice penalty from Mertens there. Makes it 2 0 and uh, sees us into basically the semi final. But there was one or two more goals. Marquisio breaking on through. He'd he gone on all that attack. The gaps were making up, and Quadrado, a near post finish there, makes it 3 0 in the 88th minute. I think I was actually playing a subscriber as well. So if you guys, if you are 
are that subscriber, well played, and thank you very much for sticking around, even though I don't really like people sticking around when I'm doing this tournament run. 4 0 into the semis, guys, and we come against yet another cheap looking team, Van Saldi, who has got a team of season, Felipe Anderson and Golden. You're seeing very similar teams all the time, guys. Salah, um, Palacio, loads of cheap alternatives. So if you guys are looking for cheap alternatives um, for your teams to get into the final and higher up in the in, in the tournament to, it, itself to win that team of season, then definitely take some uh, some ideas from this video. If not, hang around until Sunday, guys, and we'll have another video. Screamer from Freddy Guire in there makes it 1-0 in the 45th minute. It seems to be a reoccurring thing done in the 45th minute. This time, a nice pickup by Freddy Guire and was watching the defence back off. Nothing he could do, and uh, he gets to pick the point in which he levers this into the back of the net and makes it 2-0 in the 49th minute. Brilliant shot. Two goals from Guire in from this game alone, and uh, then the game was basically over. Morata breaking on through with Paul Pogba, who has the pace and has the dribbling as well, waiting for the runner Morata, but his work rates were pissing me off. But we do square it along. He finishes it 3 0 in the 81st minute, and then that was us on into the final. But it was one consolation goal we did give up in the 86th minute. Uh, bad defending by me, just letting him run on through. No idea how he didn't finish it first time. Probably a brilliant uh, block there from Chiellini, but a simple um, finish there for Palacio to get on the score sheet and make it 3 1. That was game over. So into the final, guys. Morata, Felipe Anderson, Kudrado, Marquisio, Nangol, and Lulic, um, Gulan, Miranda, Barzagli, uh, Lichsteiner, and also Buffon as well. Some very, very nice looking players there. And uh, it was actually our opponent who was having the better of the ball in the first half. Nangolan, nice bit of skill there to beat my defence and a brilliant finish off the post there to make it 1-0 in the 23rd minute. I was as in a call thinking I'm going to fucking lose this. Thankfully, we never. You guys obviously know that I've won it by by uh, seeing the title of the video and uh, Guarin breaks on through, selling it over to Mertens. Mertens with a nice bit of uh, trickery there. Bit of luck as well. We are going to take very lucky there. Near post finish 1-1 in the 38th minute. The next clip is extra actually in the second half. It's Morata with a nice brilliant first touch. Near post finish 2-1 in the 55th minute. Then the game changed. I was trying to shut up shop. Unfortunately failed at doing so yet again. Quadrado with a skill. Squares it over to Lulic. Lulic round the defender and a smash near post to make it 2-2 and uh, he makes an, makes an instant substitution. He had one more attack. Failed at it and thankfully on the counter attack guys in the 90th minute as well. Felipe Anderson bought on as a sub. Breaks on through. Squares it over. Failure by Barzagli and a nice diving header from Quadrado. Does make it 3-2 and sees us walk away with the team of the season special item of Sansone. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like rate and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And guys, we'll be back on Sunday with another tournament run for you guys to enjoy and hopefully you can take advantage of that one if you've barely got any coins and hopefully win this guy for yourself.